hey what's going on everyone welcome welcome again to another video and this is going to be more of a tutorial uh, to show you how to install the new virtual desktop OpenXR uh, implementation that we now have for virtual desktop and uh, just a little bit of background uh, I'm not sure if you've already watched the video that I uploaded yesterday uh, showcasing uh, this implementation of OpenXR working in combination with virtual desktop for those of you into VR using virtual desktop this is primarily the aim uh, user base people using virtual desktop pretty much if you're not using virtual desktop then completely ignore this tutorial uh, this is not for you now what is uh, virtual desktop OpenXR so in a nutshell, this is pretty much an implementation of OpenXR into virtual desktop. So we don't have to rely on SteamVR or on any other middle API in order for us to be able to, you know, do virtual reality gaming, PC VR gaming, if you will. So most of you right now that haven't gone through this tutorial yet, you guys might be uh, right now using steam vr if you are for example using uh pico 4 uh the only way for you to play microsoft flight simulator or let's say uh dcs is by first of all going into virtual desktop uh, for example and then virtual desktop leverages the steam vr api in order to then be able to communicate uh with the whatever game that you're trying to play be it microsoft flight sim or uh, DCS, a set of course, a competition, I racing, whatever the case might be. So at the end of the day, the actual API that talks with the games is pretty much Steam VR, and this ends up causing a lot of overhead. And for those of you not familiar with the terminology of overhead, it just basically causing extra latency that you don't really have to go through uh, if you have a mean of instead of having virtual desktop go through steam vr to then for steam vr go to the and talk to the games uh, you can basically uh find a way for example to just bypass steam vr completely and have virtual desktop go talk with the api directly on the games now this is only available starting from a couple of days ago when uh matthew uh which was the guy that developed the open xr toolkit came up with an implementation of OpenXR to work directly with virtual desktop. So now virtual desktop users should be able to completely bypass SteamVR uh, in order to leverage, it, to leverage the OpenXR API that's implemented on a particular game. In the case of Microsoft Flight Simulator, it supports OpenXR natively. Uh, DCS now supports OpenXR. Um, iRacing and a couple of other games support OpenXR. Just keep in mind that if your game, the one that you play the most, uh, let's say the developers haven't implemented OpenXR API, basically this is going to be a waste of time for you. Because if the game doesn't, doesn't leverage OpenXR API, then this is just not going to add any extra value to you because maybe all they've implemented was the... Uh, uh, the VR API that makes use of uh, Steam VR. And if that's the case, at the end of the day, you will have to go through Steam VR. The first thing that you guys want to do is go to the uh, Matthew uh, the GitHub repository where he has all the codes for all the utility that he has developed in the past. Um, and here you will see uh, that we even have the code for the OpenXR toolkit. Uh, and the one that you want to focus uh, at some point later down on this video is going to be this one right here, which is the virtual desktop OpenXR. But first of all, let me, oh, let, let's just go to the virtual desktop OpenXR because I need to show you something there. So this is the code. Uh, pretty much for this utility or plugin if you want to call it that and if you scroll down here you will have uh, first of all you're going to have a little bit of an explanation here uh, on what this does so this program is an implementation of OpenXR standard for virtual desktop on Windows it allows you to run OpenXR applications without SteamVR so you're going to want to go to this uh, link right here uh, which has all the instructions 
um, go through all these uh, uh, read me, uh, if you will, information that we have here because this is critical, especially for games, for you to know which game supports OpenXR because, you know, it just... We don't want you guys to be installing stuff without you knowing what you're doing and then wondering why your games are no longer working. So just go through this, make sure that you understand what this does and whether or not you need this stuff based on the games that you play. Um, here you can have uh, a list of uh, hex sets uh, which are compatible. And the one that I'm using is pretty much the Pico 4 and it is compatible now with this. And uh, so if you go here on the setup, uh, section where you can download and install the plugin you will come across with this here it says release is not public yet thank you for your patient uh, the page is only available for private beta testers the reason why I am focusing or putting emphasis on this is because the utility is still not publicly available however there's a way for you to get access to the installer but then you need to follow a different channel uh, because of you know the face of the of this uh implementation at the moment which is beta and the developer is relying a lot on people to provide feedback and make sure this utility is stable enough before they put it out there in the wild wild west anyway so let's gonna we're gonna put a hole on this for now i need you to focus here as well so once you once you install the utility which is a simple msi installer very simple just click and agree and then click next and that's it now you need to uh download this other binary file here which is called the xr runtime picker and the reason why you need this stuff here is because maybe you want to roll back to steam vr like may steam vr the runtime for vr application um, or maybe you want to go back to virtual desktop OpenXR uh, if you want to like play a different game that supports OpenXR. You need to download this and once you execute it, you will come across with a list like a menu uh, where it has all the APIs. It's going to show you the uh, Oculus runtime if you are on, on Quest. It's going to show you the uh, um, Steam VR. It's going to show you the Windows Mixed Reality and it's going to show you also the new uh, virtual desktop open XR so just just in case that when you install the utility if it doesn't default to the virtual desktop open XR for you uh, just make sure that you open the X, uh, XR runtime picker and that you click what it says make active next to the virtual desktop open XR and that's going to change the default runtime to be the virtual desktop open XR and that will allow you to just start virtual desktop and immediately from virtual desktop game panel go there and open or execute the game that you want to execute in the case of microsoft flight simulator uh, all you got to do is just run microsoft flight simulator once you are within a simulator just press on the button that you have enabled for the toggle vr stuff and as soon as you toggle uh vr mode is not going to launch virtual uh, Steam VR. It is going to go straight in immediately into virtual reality through the OpenXR. And the same is going to probably happen with other games that supports OpenXR natively. So just make sure that you download this, put it on the side. Now, how do you get access to the Open uh, Virtual Desktop OpenXR installer? If we go back to Matthew's uh, front page in GitHub, uh, go here to what it says OpenXR dash toolkit. And if you scroll down, just go to the OpenXR uh, official page here, right here. And I think uh, some of you that are already using OpenXR, you will find this page familiar because this is where we have all the stuff related to the OpenXR toolkit, the installer, uh, some other documentation. Uh, the only thing that I want you to focus on for now, it's right here. You will see we have a link to Matthew's or OpenXR toolkit Discord server. You're going to click here and you will join that Discord server, which means you need to have a Discord account. I'm not going to show you how to create that stuff. If you don't know how to create that stuff, then probably this, this video is not for you. So 
once you join the virtual, the OpenXR uh, toolkit, uh, virtual, I mean, uh, Discord server, you will come across with this landing page here. Um, so what I did when I joined this Discord server, I went into support and I asked anyone, like, how can I opt in for the beta test of, to be a beta tester for, say, um, testing the OpenXR, uh, the virtual desktop OpenXR plugin. And the developer, Matthew, here responded immediately to me, which I do appreciate. Thank you very much, uh, Matthew. Uh, you're freaking amazing, man. He told me, hey, uh, we have information on the uh, virtual desktop OpenXR implementation on the Oculus technical chat. So if you go here to the Oculus technical chat, uh, you're going to want to go to what it says pinned messages. And here you will have all you need to know about the virtual desktop OpenXR. Please make sure that you read this stuff here because we don't want you guys to be going in the wild, wild west of the internet and just uploading uh, this uh, in installer for people to get, you know, through a different channel that's not the main channel here via the Discord. Uh, the reason why, just read this stuff here. Do not share outside of Discord. If you do that, people will have, will, will not have necessary resources uh, or resources to provide feedback or ask for support. So please just abide to the procedure that we have here that Matthew has put in place here. I'm just showing you how to get the installer if you want to be a tested. And if you encounter problems with the tool, make sure you come back to the Discord here and just share whatever low files you have, uh, whatever information about the problem you encounter where, so they can help you. Uh, fix the problem and we all at the end of the day can benefit for those you know from those bugs getting addressed if you will before this stuff goes public right so if you scroll down just read all this stuff here guys this is very important stuff um, but eventually here you will have the installer so just go ahead and download this file I mean this uh, MSI uh, uh, file here once you download it you will be able to install it So once you have downloaded, let's say the uh, this file here for the virtual desktop OpenXR um, MSI, the installer, and you also have downloaded the XR picker, uh, you will have these files here that I'm highlighting. First thing you wanna go, uh, you wanna do is just execute uh, this installer here, and of course, in my case, I have already installed this, so it is prompting me to either remove it or repair it. Uh, in your case, you're only going to get like a next, next window, and then you get, you need to kind of read the uh, terms and conditions of this uh, product here, or if not product, this uh, program. And then once you agree, hit next, and that's pretty much it. Just install it. Once you install it, basically, uh, what you're going to want to do is extra the uh, OpenXR picker or the XR picker, uh, which I have done here. And you're going to want to either put this on your taskbar, just pin it to your taskbar, or put it somewhere because you're going to probably be using this frequently. Uh, so if I execute the XR picker, uh, you will see something like this come up. And as you can see here, uh, we have a couple things. Um, for example, we got the Oculus OpenXR uh, runtime which I, I could make active if I, if, you know, if that's what I wanted to do. I don't have a quest anymore. And then, of course, if you want to roll back to have SteamVR uh, be the uh, main runtime, then just make SteamVR active here. In my case, I don't have a button here next to the virtual desktop OpenXR because it is deactive. And here on this, what it says state, it is telling you this is the active runtime. OpenXR for virtual desktop pretty much. Uh, if you're on, say, uh, a Reaper G2 and you want to go back to the uh, Window Mixed Reality uh, runtime, then this is something you can do as well here. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So make sure that uh, your XR picker is showing the virtual desktop open XR as the active runtime. And that's pretty much about it, guys. This is the whole tutorial installation process. Just go uh, normal drill, go to your hexit, 
uh, connect virtual desktop to your PC, and then just launch your games. Just keep in mind that on virtual desktop, you will have a, an option to launch SteamVR. Do not launch SteamVR. Just go to the game section on the menu of virtual desktop, find your game, and just execute your game directly from uh, virtual desktop. If the game supports OpenXR natively, then you don't need to do absolutely anything else. In the case of Microsoft Flight Simulator, you need to, of course, execute Microsoft Flight Simulator in desktop mode. And once you are within a simulator, you hit the toggle, the VR toggle key that you have bound to whatever button you have, and you will go straight into virtual reality without Steam VR launching. So that's pretty much it for this uh, video. I hope you find it uh, informative. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to go visit uh, Matthew's uh, Discord. Say hi, say thank you for all the application these guys created for us to make our virtual life uh, so enjoyable. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.